I'm Constable Scott Mills with Toronto Police Service. I work in the corporate communications section and I'm one of the social media officers. And we're on Ossington Avenue today in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which is right near Ossington and Dundas. And we are going to take a laneway here that uh, looks relatively unattractive. And we are going to make it into a tourist gallery through a graffiti community building project that involves everybody. And uh, the, the mural behind me is absolutely phenomenal. What you see there, we're gonna have this entire laneway like this with the purpose of actually making this into a bit of an art tourist area that will attract people to come down to the area and wanna live, work, and play in the Ossington area. And it'll help businesses, improve the uh, vibe of the community, and just be an all out great thing. So we've got Christine Kilpatrick, and a great group of youth and policing students here for Toronto Police Service. Christine's a community volunteer. And we've got a, one of our youth behind us uh, on the camera. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to walk down the laneway because Christine has a lot of permissions of the property owner that she's been working on. So we're going to kind of get what's in her brain out so that we can all collaborate for the success and safety of our community and make this laneway into a tourist art gallery. So uh, here we go. So Christine, what's up here? Well, Christine's kind of camera this shy. this wall, originally just three months ago, there was nothing on it. So just to give you a feel of how much this laneway gets tagged with graffiti. Now graffiti artists, if you just put it on there, um, graffiti, uh, I've come to understand a number of people in the graffiti community, and I'm not going to call this vandalism, because the person that did it is trying to get their name up, and I value that person. And what we want to do is actually get that person to be great, and absolutely make some amazing art, working as a collaborative effort with everybody, and that includes the cops. Christine, what are we doing here? Um, How many permissions, Christine, uh, have you received so far to actually redo this laneway? Quite a few. And the gentleman that owns this building is going to put a new garage door in right before we go ahead and do the painting. So, because he doesn't want it to get tagged in the meantime, so he's going to wait just a couple days before we come to do the painting. Put his garage door across. This looks like the little uh, truck there that we're maybe going to paint down at Young yes. and Dundas Square at Unity Festival. Yes. Oh, it's a little truck. And I'll be driving this was just done um, last week because this whole garage had been painted and it was all brown last week. So between last week now and today, it's been tagged again. So hopefully, we're going to have an amazing piece of art. And if the person that did that tag, wants to actually come down here and be a part of it, you're welcome. We've got an artist coordinator from wellandgood.ca that's coordinating all that. You don't have to deal with me. <laughs> all right, reach out to Steve Ferrer at Well and Good. Steve at wellandgood.ca. Right over here, if you just turn the camera right over here, we were just in the Academy Alliance, which is 64 Ossington. And uh, we got a CrossFit graffiti art program that's about to, to launch again for the second year in the fall here and we were just inside this is a community hub it's a place to do crossfit art and we're going to have an amazing piece of uh, graffiti art on this building and that's going to be kind of be headquarters for this project so thanks a lot to danny oaks at the academy alliance and all the great staff inside for uh, believing in our project and uh, making it bigger and better so so far we don't have permissions for these yet but I'm going to get them really quick. Mm -hmm. Now they've been nice enough to not tag the fencing. Just like to say uh, that the uh, City of Toronto START program, which is all about street art and giving kids a positive opportunity, uh, has jumped on board on this project and we're really grateful for that so thank you very much for your support we're looking forward to collaborating with our community partners at the city of toronto uh, with their graffiti management program so thanks a lot jody for leading the way
one other um, very key community uh, partner in this is uh, Councillor Mike Layton's office, uh, Christine Kilpatrick, who's uh, you heard talking on this uh, project uh, video here a few times. She's been out here pounding the pavement, meeting the neighbors and things like that, and she worked collaboratively with Michael Layton's uh, office uh, to get a letter and uh, do it all officially and proper, and uh, we're grateful for that. If you turn around, turn the camera around there, Christine's uh, petting the neighborhood dog, and uh, that's what happens. That's what happens with these amazing projects, is you get to know the people in the neighborhood, and uh, you connect people, and uh, it, it's, a, it's an exhilarating experience, it really is. So far, I've gotten to meet quite a few really nice neighbors around here who have given us permission. I'm very excited about the project. They plan to come out here in the lane when we go ahead with painting day. You can talk about that one. So Christine, are we going to be touching something like this? No. no. A lot of work seemed to have gone into that, so I would rather leave it alone. Absolutely phenomenal graffiti art pieces, uh, both sides here. Uh, these won't be touched. This will become part of the uh, tourist art gallery down here. Like we lost our commentator back there talking to the neighbors that's a good thing essentially uh i want to thank the kids here from coming down there in our youth and policing initiative and uh what we're hoping for is if you see this video or you're one of the kids that are here today if you want to actually come on out and get involved uh uh you change one your change your shirt what's your shirt say there? the kids do a lot of designing at the CrossFit Graffiti Art Program, and these guys are now sporting two of them. They've all got their own shirts. And uh, let me see this for a sec here. Our, our, our guy behind the camera is sporting an old school grind. Thank you, Train Tracks. <laughs> Train Tracks is the artist that was one of the key guys that did old school grind. So, Christine, any final words here? Are we going around the corner? I'd like to know that. Are we going down there? Uh, I think that's going to be more of a time restraint thing right now. It needs it very badly, all the way to the edge, okay. you know, to the end over there, um, Brookfield. So, um, yeah, if we can squeeze it in, I'd love to have the artist do it. Okay, well, I'll just finish up uh, by saying that uh, we're really thankful in the CrossFit Graffiti Art Program that ran last year for the funding from ProAction Cops and Kids, which is a registered charity that is designed to build bridges between cops and kids. And uh, we just put another grant in today to do another one. And uh, the kids here helped type it up, actually. And uh, essentially, a police officer has to apply for this. And it's all about uh, getting the community to work collaboratively. And we've chosen that this project will be part of our CrossFit Graffiti Art Program for the fall. Um, so we're really hoping to get the funding that we've applied for and we're trying to get many more police officers involved. Many more police officers have expressed interest in doing this CrossFit program and learning about the graffiti art. It's and so much fun. 
So thank you, everybody. And that's where we're at. Last shout out here. Steve Ferreira, wellandgood.ca. The man is coordinating all the graffiti artists. So if you're a graffiti artist, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. Hit up Steve. Steve's your man. Say you want to get involved. If you guys want to get involved, Christine, can you shine the light on Christine there? Christine's a little camera shy. Christine, what's your Twitter? Beretta May. Spell that. B-E-R-E-T-T-A-M-A-E. On Twitter. Beretta May on Twitter. Christine Kilpatrick is coordinating all the behind the scenes permissions uh, to get this project going. Steve Ferrara is the lead uh, for the graffiti artists and the cops in the community, including the 14 Division Youth Community Police Liaison Committee uh, youth, as well as some youth from the Toronto District School Board um, program uh, for the summer leadership camp. Uh, they're kind of a, we did a video the other day, there's 50 kids in the room, 34 kids signed up because they wanted to help. So that's how big we're gonna get this, and we're hoping you guys will come too. Any final words, what do you guys think? <laughs> You guys happy? Oh yeah. It's just better than being in headquarters all day. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Right on. This is the graffiti community building here in Toronto. What's the hashtag you guys made today for Twitter? T dot T dot Yay! Follow T dot Lanert. Thanks for the hashtag. Whose idea was that? You guys. Collaborative effort. We decided to name the hashtag for this T. Laner. So thank you guys. It takes a community to come together to make it great. You good? All right. The faces of success and safety in Toronto.